With setup out of the way, let's dig into the drilling process. In this next section, we'll cover the bend drill operations and techniques that will make you a bulk flow pro. You'll want to arrange your workspace so you can comfortably reach and operate the controls while remaining a safe distance from the moving equipment. This is also a good opportunity to take one last look around at the interior of the bend and drilling location since we won't want to get too close to the opening during operation and depending upon the material being drilled, we may kick up some dust as well. Eyeballing these things from above can be tricky, so as you begin your drilling operations, keep close track of the number of drill sections being added and the overall depth of the assembly to avoid crashing into gates, augers, the bend floor, or other obstructions. Also, if you'll be draining the bend at any point, say by opening slide gates or starting a discharge auger, Make sure that any new mat equipment currently inside the bend has been secured up and out of the way where it can't interact with these systems and cause damage. Using the drill direction speed control valve, begin rotating the drill assembly clockwise. As the drill assembly rotates, lower it into the bend using the drill deck up-down control. Try to match the speed of the descent with the rate at which the drill bit is biting into the material. If the drill sections begin to bind up, it could indicate too much downforce pressure, and you may need to back off a bit so that the bit has more time to work its way through the material. Stop when you have about six inches of drill section left above the bin mount drill base, taking care to orient the cross pin for easy removal. At this point, we'll add another drill section to the assembly so we can continue drilling our hole. Slide the drill section clamp over and around the drill section and raise the lever to engage the clamp. Make sure that the hanging drill assembly is gripped firmly by the clamp, then remove the cross pin. Using the drill deck up-down control, raise the drill deck halfway up the bin mount post and place the top of the drill assembly into the drill rotation motor pin. Ensure the holes are aligned and insert the cross pin. Raise the drill deck to within a few inches of the top of the ball screw. Lower the drill deck slowly, carefully guiding the pin end of the new drill section into the receiver end of the clamp and secure them together with a 3 8 inch cross bolt and nut. When you're confirmed that the cross pin at the top of the new drill section and the cross bolt at the bottom are secure, you can release the drill section clamp and swing it out of the way. Using the hydraulic controls as before, Begin rotating the drill assembly and lower the next section into the bend. Repeat this process, adding drill sections until the desired depth has been achieved. When you've reached your desired depth or broken through the bridged material, we will reverse the previous steps to bring the drill assembly back up. When raising the drill assembly, it should be rotated in the opposite counterclockwise direction. This helps back the bit up through the hole and ensures smooth removal. Stop the drill deck when it's about four to six inches from the top of the ball screw. Engage the drill section clamp and remove the cross pin and cross bolt to free the section from the assembly. Run the drill deck back down, slowing as the drill rotation motor pin approaches the clamp drill section. Carefully insert the pin into the receiver and secure it with the cross pin. With the pin secure, you can release the clamp and proceed to remove the next drill section from the bend. For virtually every drilling situation, we recommend drilling a 2-inch pilot hole, then replacing the 2-inch bit with a 5-inch bit to enlarge that hole, then adding the 12-inch bit above the 5-inch bit to achieve the final hole diameter. With drilling complete and the final drill section removed, run the drill deck halfway down the bin mount post or lower to make the assembly less top heavy and easier to transport. Unhook the hydraulic power and reverse the steps of the setup procedure to disassemble the bend drill. Clean the components thoroughly to ensure their longevity before you return them to storage.